President Atta Mills returned home last night after attending the 66th UN General Assembly session in New York and other official business engagements. Briefing the media, President Atta Mills said the UN session went well and Ghana used the occasion to whip up investor interest in the country's economy. Napoleon Atukito reports. The president was welcomed by the vice president, Mr. John Dramani Mahama, top-ranking government officials and service commanders. Shortly afterwards, he briefed the media about his trip to the U.S. The main thing was the uh, U.N. regular session, our attendance, and that was the biggest event. But I had quite a number of meetings also with uh, friends of Ghana, uh, let me say, and uh, we met uh, officials of the World Bank and an IMF and a number of investors who are interested in coming to Ghana. Um, we have meetings you know, of heads of state, like Open Governance, which was chaired by uh, President Obama. And then, of course, there was the um, address, the UN address also. The media asked about the Chinese loan contracted by government, which the opposition had raised an objection to. Well, it's quite clear that they are very supportive, and I'm surprised that people are putting a spin on it. It's very clear, because they know that we need this amount mainly for infrastructural development. You cannot develop if the infrastructure foundation is missing. So they were very, very supportive. There are a few details that we have to iron out, that's all. On the issue of a possible national carrier for Ghana, the president said the case of the defunct Ghana International Airlines is in court. On his address at the UN, it is reported that the UN followed with keen interest Ghana's approach towards the Millennium Development Goals, some of them being the gradual removal of schools under trees and women empowerment. Napoleon Atukitu reporting.